OMG. So like, I've been getting fat, you guys. I don't know if you've noticed, but I know y'all have because everybody is claiming that the second baby is on the way. And guess what? It's not a baby. I am just fat, okay? It's just fat. So from this day forward, I'm gonna start working out. I literally woke up and I'm gonna try and get some workout in. Okay, day two. It was a complete success. I did all my workouts. I ate oatmeal for breakfast. I'm gonna go to Sprouts later on and I've made myself a list of the things that I need to buy. Once I'm ready and he's done recording, we're gonna head out and we're gonna go run our errands. What to do, what to do, we back. I'm hungry, I haven't had breakfast. What time is it? It's 11 a.m. and I haven't had breakfast. Kelly thinks she's on a health trip right now. She thinks that she's just gonna be healthy and be eating healthy and she thinks I'm gonna take her somewhere right now to get some healthy food to cook. But what she don't know is we're finna go to the Mexican spot that I found that makes barbacoa. Check in with y'all in a minute. Sprouts, for y'all that don't know, if y'all don't have a Sprouts near you. It's like Whole Foods, but cheaper. I don't think it's cheaper. I just think it's Cheap. like- Whole Foods, $100 a bag. Yeah, it's organic food, uh, vegetables. Everything is organic. So we're on our way to Sprouts. I'm good. I have my list, like I showed y'all earlier. Do you even know how to cook healthy? Yes, I do. Okay. You're such a hater. Anyways, so I'm so excited. I'm sore already. I just started working out yesterday. But today, I told y'all, I did it. I did like a good 30 minute. Baby, I like you nice and plump. I want you to be a gordita. He wants me to get fat and lose my fineness. I want you to be a nice little round bowling want, ball. He doesn't want nobody to look at me. He doesn't want me to. As long as I look at you, what's the problem? He doesn't want me to be feeling myself. That's not true. That is so true. You've told me this. Before. No, I just want you nice and chunky. Well, we'll catch y'all whenever we get to the store. <sighs> Baby, what sprouts do you think we're going to? I don't know. Cause sprouts ain't this way. I was waiting for you to catch on. I know, I knew that, but I'm just like, okay, whatever. You're just going with the yeah. sprouts? Yeah, sprouts is that way, but I don't know where you're taking me, but. <laughs> we're gonna go eat this lamb barbacoa. Are you serious right now? Yes. That's you what, see? That's what we're gonna do. Do y'all remember, <laughs> hold on. If y'all haven't already watched our couples workout video, y'all should go check it out. But this is what happens every single time I try and get fit. Like, I'm like, Okay, I, I want to start working out again. First of all, I haven't had breakfast. It's already almost noon. It's 11.30. But that's your fault, though. Because every time I try to feed him breakfast, oh, no, I don't like eggs. Like, he expects me to cook Look, look, I don't like meal. eggs in the morning. I like, I could eat brisket in the morning. I could eat some pork chops in the morning. Like, some steak. I want some, I'm a carnivore, man. I'm a meat eater. What I, I look like, no what do eggs. I look like? This is what happens every single time. Like I was telling y'all, our last couple's workout video where he was like, no, you're not gonna go work out with nobody else. You don't need a workout buddy. I'll be your workout buddy. That didn't work out because right after we worked out, he was trying to eat some greasy tacos. See, and I'm so proud of myself today because I didn't do none of that. I didn't cheat myself. Hey. Look at that smile on his face. Like he knows <laughs> what he's doing. Like he's, you're wrong. Look. You know what's what a coincidence. There's a Whole Foods right next to this place we go on the Mexican spot. So I take you to Whole Foods when we're done and you can get your little healthy stuff. Thank you so much. Well, so we're pulling up. I really don't know where he's taking me. Temptation is real. Let's go see what it do, mate. Look how cute. The restaurant. Yo, so they hooked us up. Hooked Complimentary us up. because it's our first time here. I've got to tell you what just happened. One of the waiters came up to Lucky and was like, oh my God, it's such an honor to have you here. And I think it was the owner, right? Like, yeah. he came after him and was just praising Lucky. They gave us a free dessert or a free appetizer. Free dessert, 
Yeah, they gave us churros. Oh, I gotta show y'all. Can I have one of these? Is this breaking my diet? It was good though, I ain't gonna lie. That was it, delicious. It was authentic, like it was not Tex-Mex. Oh my God. The devil be working. Like you decided to stay in the car because Houston was tripping at the restaurant, like screaming his brains out. Alrighty. Now, I've got spinach. It kind of sucks vlogging all by yourself and then in public because people are looking at me like I'm weird. Tied it up and I'm in here and it's like, I feel like people at Whole Foods are uptight. Wheat bread. Made it out of the store. I actually didn't spend much. I got everything on my list. So now the goal is just to be committed. So we just got home and I just um, unloaded everything out of the car and out of the bags and I wanted to show y'all. So I ended up buying these. They were like five uh, for five dollars for baby Houston because he had ran out of baby food. He loves this stuff. Got broccoli. I got the red potatoes, chicken breast, some more chicken breast, some eggs, um, the wheat bread, some baby spinach. I'm gonna be eating a lot of spinach. And then. I also got me this. It's a protein shake. Um, I'm gonna try and stick to my little meal plans. How about we take the time to appreciate this husband of mine? You looking handsome today. Houston was being bad in the restaurant, screaming like a madman. What'd you get from Whole Foods? I already told him. I'm asking you, I'm not <laughs> telling him oh. the blog. I got chicken and veggies and nothing much. I was on the house. What was the name of your restaurant? It was good, I ain't gonna lie. So shout out to the Ambrisa Social Mexican Kitchen. They showed us some good hospitality. A couple of people that worked there with some fans. So they hooked us up with a free uh, street corn appetizer and these dessert right here and she told me she on a diet but she gonna eat one anyway i already ate one you already ate one shh, i didn't want to tell them oh yeah that's good right there man what are these called chuchos churros choro babe shut up you're so disgusting mm -mm -mm. man that place is good i give them two thumbs up Shout out to everybody who's trying to start blogging now. Y'all want to know the key to a successful blog? Consistency. That's how you win. Consistency. Keep your foot on their neck, man. You can't post some, upload some once a month. Come on, man. You ain't going to get nowhere like that. And this is why I was able to eat so long off the rap game. It's because consistency. People, I got friends that be hustling in the streets. And then they try to do the rap game. And they put one tape out and they see that it only made like a little bit of money. And they're like, man, I could make that one night in the streets. The point is you're building something. It's a start. And if you're consistent with it, that's how you build something legitimate. And you make legit money. Clean money. Because the goal is to get out the street, not stay in the streets. You're trying to get out the streets, man. If you're hustling in the streets and you're trying to be a rapper, don't get discouraged if your first tape come back and don't make a lot of money. That's just a spark. And you got to turn that spark into a flame. And turn that flame into a fire. It's just like if you was on the block slinging. If you ain't putting that work out on the streets every day, them fiends are still going to be right there getting high. If they get it from you or if they get it from the next block, they going to get it. So you might as well be the one to supply them with what they need. Consistency. So I'm feeding him the apples and strawberry one. Hey! Boy, what's wrong with you? Ah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> uh. The kids have arrived. Analia, you're such a little artist. Let me see. That's hilarious. They look like Kingston. That was like a demon. Hey, what's up, vlog? Another lady vlog. We're gonna be doing a challenge of eating healthy. My guy, it's about to be lit. Hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. 
like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Thank you, and we'll see y'all in a bit. Ow. Ow. Boy, what is that? Look at his teeth. Looks how old like. They look like you. What are you doing? It looks like nice, straight. Great job, Leah. Great job. His teeth. Let's get a detail on that. He got a black <laughs> grill. No, it comes. That's how, that's how our our teachers turn into the teeth. Oh. I was sleeping so good, and then the kids came home from school, and it had to be Kingston run up in our room talking about. What's that, Kingston? I'm walking through the hallway. I'm walking through the hallway. I'm going to use the restroom. Some little kids. Guys, have you subscribed to Gigi's YouTube channel? Guys, guys, you have subscribed to Gigi's YouTube channel? Wait, who was it? I was like, <laughs> who was it? Who was it? I don't know. What you like? And, 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 he, was he talking to you or someone else? No, they were talking to like to another kid. They were oh, telling. And you just overheard him? Yeah, I was walking there and then she was telling this wait, wait. boy, have you subscribed to Gigi's YouTube channel? I was like, <laughs> wait a minute, hold it down, that's mine. You can't take the fame like that. Who being a hater, boy? <laughs> You don't got the hands. All right, no, I'm cool for real, for real. No, today, you not, and the girls did, did. both, y'all need to clean your rooms, man, because <laughs> I went in there today and your room stank. And the okay, girls. Okay, it's that guinea pig. Now, I'm pulling up to PetSmart right now. And I bullshit you not, there's a lady laid out on the floor. She just got up. That lady was laid out on her back. The reason I'm my pet smart is because I bought a little guinea pig for the kids a couple months ago, which probably was a bad idea because now I gotta go buy the little guinea pig food, pellets, bedding, and hay every damn week. So now that's another bill I got. Out here playing the violin because you got three kids that need help for rent and food. Feel you, man. I do what you gotta do. Salute to him. He out there trying to hustle for his children. I give you some money, but I ain't got no cash on me, man. You upcoming rappers, y'all want some advice from someone who's been in the mix for a minute? Best advice I can give you is be yourself. Can't nobody beat you at being you. And keep it real. Keep it real with your fans. Stop trying to flex on your fans. Don't do that. You're going to end up hurting your pocket trying to flex all the time because you're just going to keep spending money. You're going to keep spending more money than you're making in this business doing it like that that's not the way to go you got to be more relatable anyway you're more relatable when you're doing real life shit you know what i'm saying like coming from pet smart you got to buy your kids that guinea pig food and guinea pig bedding y'all gotta keep it real man keep it real keep it real okay so as promised we're gonna be eating healthy this is gonna be one of our sides and I added olive oil, I drizzled it all over it, and then I put salt, pepper, and then a little bit of lemon pepper, that way it can have a different taste. And right now what I'm doing, I'm just mixing them up, that way they all get seasoning on them. Okay, so I'm trying to show y'all what I'm doing here as I go. Um, this is actually some rice. I added baby spinach to it, and then um, I cut up a little bit of tomatoes, not much. And now I have to add the water. But I'll show y'all the end result whenever it's done and ready. Then I'm going to move on and make the chicken. Okay, so what I'm making now is the chicken. Um, all I did was cut the chicken breast in half. I think they're big enough portions. So I went ahead and added the cream of mushroom. And then I put spinach. Le puse espinaca. But do y'all see how good this looks? I feel like it doesn't know justice. And then the rice, the, the rice is just about done. I really cannot wait to eat this. What's going on over here? What? Oh, I just saw it. It's cause the cabinets are black and he be blending in with the cabinets. Watch it, move, move. Oh, you almost hit me, boy. I was wrong with you. You better watch that. It's right there, babe, look. Let it let it land somewhere. Uh, oh, I Ooh. Get it Ooh, I got it on camera. You m murdered it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. it just flew. Nah, he's still alive in there. He did not. 
Let me see it. All right, everybody eating healthy? Yeah. Happy campers? Happy campers. I mean, it just promotes food and it's healthy as life. It's good. So I can't get Baby, I want you to taste it. That's the aftermath of my plate. I really like the rice, the chicken, the spinach on top was delicious. I wasn't too much filling the potatoes, but other than that, it was delicious. Great job, baby. Great job. Like, subscribe, and share, do all that good stuff. If y'all watching the video during the live premiere, y'all go down in the live chat, click the little dollar sign, and if y'all donate a dollar or more, y'all get a shout out. And guess what? We got a shout out to Veronica Mendez. Hey, Veronica She's Mendez. Okay, this is a shower. You want some ice cream? I want some ice cream. You just We have to eat healthy food for the podcast. Honestly, honestly, I'm just not gonna tell y'all I can't eat healthy because you know my belly right here is eating right here. Okay, I can eat ice cream. She don't like it when I'm on the wall, she wanna